Right. And we're joined here by also the by Commissioner uh, Nigro and the entire team that's here. Uh, this is a horrific, horrific, painful moment for the city of New York. And the impact of this fire is going to really bring a level of just pain and despair in our city. The numbers are horrific. We have over 32 people who are life-threatening at this time. We have nine serious injuries, 22 injuries that are not life-threatening, with over 63 people in total. We have one member service also was removed to the hospital. This is a painful moment for us. And the men and women that live here, not only in the Bronx, but throughout this city. Uh, this is going to be one of the worst fires that we have witnessed during modern times here in the city of New York. And I want to thank the FDNY. I want to thank the police personnel and EMS who, has, who have responded to this fire. The number of people, as I spoke to people across the street that watch bodies being pulled out. It's, it is really pain, and you're going to hear that pain. You're hearing the pain from people who are here. But we're going to do everything we can to bring services on the ground here to give people the assistance that they need as we all recover from the trauma of what we are witnessing here in the buildings behind us. I want to bring on the commissioner to give you an overview of what has taken place and what we're doing to investigate the marshals. We'll investigate this fire, fire to determine exactly what took place here and what we can do to continue to make it not have a reoccurrence of this magnitude of the number of potential loss of lives lives we're going to experience. Commissioner? Thank you, Mayor. And uh, as the Mayor said, this is indeed tragic. Units arrived here this morning within three minutes of the call for a fire that was in a duplex apartment. This apartment spanned floors two and three. They were met in the hallway with this fire. Very heavy smoke, very heavy fire. Units pushed in. This smoke extended the entire height of the building. Completely unusual. Members found victims on every floor in stairways and were taking them out in cardiac and respiratory arrest. We won't know the total yet of the outcome, but we do know that, as the mayor stated, 32 people were transported to hospitals in life-threatening condition. That is unprecedented in our city. The last time we had a loss of life that may be this horrific was at Happy Land Fire. It was over 30 years ago, and also here in the Bronx. Uh, how the fire started, we don't know yet. It will be investigated, and I'm certain that the marshals will determine it. What I do know, and we've stressed this over and over, the door to that apartment was left open, uh, causing the fire to spread smoke to spread, which is always a problem for us, and as we see here, by the broken windows throughout the building, uh, this fire took its toll on our city. So, uh, we're ready for questions if, if there are some. Any word on working Eric Not yet, but we will, we will find that out. Many people? We don't, we don't have that count yet, but we have people in each hospital. People were transported to five different hospitals, and uh, we're tallying those numbers, but there were children involved. Well, you know, we've spread the word, close the door, close the door. If you leave your apartment, the door should close behind you automatically, it doesn't always. But if you close the door, the smoke and fire spread is, is contained within that apartment instead of spreading out through the hall and up the stairs. And that's what happened here again. No fire station yet. 
high-rise buildings such as this don't have fire escapes. There are fire escapes on building buildings nowadays. So you'll see them on, on other types of apartments and tenants, but not on high-rise buildings. We expect there to be numerous fatalities, but they we don't know yet. Did anybody jump out of the buildings? Uh, we had reports of people. Uh, we think someone did come out the window as they were trying to get onto a portable ladder that our members put out. They might have fallen from the building. I'm not sure if anybody jumped from the building before we arrived. All the hospitals in the Bronx. That we don't know yet, but the marshals will be in there, and uh, I'm certain they will determine the cause. It is not suspicious at this point. Commissioner, on the critical injuries, do we know what type of injuries they are? Smoke inhalation, burn? Severe smoke inhalation of all these, all these folks. Well, uh, certainly the, the fire consumed to two floors of this apartment, but the smoke injuries above, uh, no one was burned. It was, it was and, and for the mayor and other elected, uh, what kind of resources are going to be coming to this area to make sure these folks have a warm place to go and other food and food kind of things? You know, turn on to the Bronx uh, Park President. Uh, we want to immediately uh, open uh, one of the schools and immediately have access to the family members so they can uh, be notified of where their loved ones are transported to and those who live in this building that have a neighboring school that I'm going to stop by uh, so that they can have a place as the Red Cross comes in and OEM so that we can organize to make sure that they get the resources they deserve. Yeah, so we are going to stay here and make sure that we work with all the relevant agencies, including the American Red Cross and HPD. Uh, we will await the findings of this investigation, but the immediate concern right now is the safety of all of the residents. All of the residents that are standing out that live here at Twin Parks, we have to make sure that they have a roof over their head. They have food. They have blankets. It's cold outside. We have children outside. So the immediate response right now is to get American Red Cross here to do intake to determine how many households with adults and children and that we're going to get food. We're going to take care of every single resident that lives here at Twin Parks. We want to assure everyone that we will not leave you. This is devastating for all of us and we are praying for all of those that are in local hospitals for their healing and for their strength. But for all the residents that are here, that live here, please be patient. We will get all the resources we need on the ground to help you and your children. Yeah. people trapped in your There were certainly people trapped in their apartments all through this building, which is why our, our members did an unbelievable job in getting to every floor of this building and getting to these folks, but some of whom were already in the rest of the week. The smoke conditions in this building were unprecedented. I have one last question, uh, and I'm sorry if you already answered, I couldn't hear you very well. But uh, among the, the people that are hurt, how many are they have that burn injuries or in smoke inhalation? There's 32 people were transported with life threatening injuries, predominantly smoke. What happened here was, uh, well, like I said, there were two, two uh, floors of fire. But the smoke spread throughout 19 stories of the building. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.